Good afternoon, good day, everyone. And once again, I hope that you've been really enjoying the lessons that I've been dishing out. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you're part of the family. Right, let's have a look at uh, uh, some Euclidean geometry. So here they're asking us to prove, they say in the diagram, we've got O, which is the center of the circle, and OD bisects chord AB. Right, prove the theorem that states that the line uh, from the center of a circle uh, that bisects a chord is perpendicular to that chord. All right, so in this theorem, uh, ladies and gents, it's really quite a simple one. What you're going to do is you're going to draw construction lines, right? So you're going to draw construction line OA as well as OB, right? And you'll notice that both of them are actually um, radii, right? So that means that uh, both of them are actually uh, equal, right? And then all we're going to do is just use congruency, right? So we can now say in triangle, uh, AOD, uh, AOD, and triangle uh, ODB, right? What do we notice? We know that OA is equal to OB, their radii, uh, radii, okay? And we also know we are given that AD is equal to DB, right? That's given, as well as OD is common, right? That's a common side between the two triangles. So OD is common. And so, what does that mean? Therefore, it means that triangle AOD um, is congruent, all right, to triangle, um, we said, so that's B, BOD, right? So it's congruent to triangle BOD. And why is that? That side, side, side. Okay, if that is the case, then it means that, um, you know, when we look at uh, angle D there, so D1 uh, is equal to D2, okay? Uh, in fact, we should have indicated D1 and D2 on our drawing, all right? So D1 should therefore be equal to D2, and so in that case, they are equal to 90 degrees, okay? Right, because remember, in this case, there are angles on a straight line, and if both of them are equal, therefore, uh, they must be uh, 90 degrees each. Okay, so therefore, it means that uh, OD is perpendicular. Therefore, OD is perpendicular to uh, AB. Right, now let's go on to the next question. Right, so they say to us in the diagram, we've got EBFS and P, which are points on the circle, are centered at O, right? As I said to you, you know, once they say centered to me, I always uh, like looking if perhaps we can have radii. Uh, I only have one radius, which is OB in this case, so there's really not much I can do with that. They say uh, GB is a tangent, right? So now... As soon as they say that, I see I've got a line drawn from the center that meets a tangent at the point of tangency. So in this case, uh, according to the 10 radius theorem, this must be 90 degrees, right? So I indicate all of this as I do, as I read the questions, right? Um, so in this case, they say that Fe is produced to meet the tangent at G. Okay, um, all right. And OT is uh, drawn such that T is the midpoint, okay? Right, now again, uh, let me just take a different color, all right? So what I noticed there is that I've got another line. Oh, sorry about that. So I've got another line that is drawn from the center that in this case uh, bisects a chord, the theorem that we just uh, looked at just now. Right, so line drawn from the center bisects a chord, right? In this case, we know that it makes that angle to be 90 degrees, right? But what it also does is that it means this angle here 
will also be 90 degrees, right? So uh, in that case, we've got those two 90 degrees angles, okay? Right, and then they say to us, um, uh, we've got GO and BO that are drawn, okay? And BS is drawn through T, okay? Right, and then we have that PS is actually parallel to GF, all right? Now, in this case, let's try and use as much as we possibly can on this diagram to try and find out which angles would be equal, right? And now that I'm told that, uh, you know, those angles, uh, PS is, is parallel to GF, so if I were to call this angle X, right, then which other angle would be equal to X? This would be angle X, okay? Uh, but what it means is that this angle here would be equal to x as well, right? Uh, they are corresponding angles. With this one, there would be alternating angles because we've got parallel lines, right? Um, so uh, with angle T, let's call that T1. Let's call this T2, um, T3, and the other one, the 90 degree. Well, yeah, well, let's call it T4. Right, so it means that T1 will also be equal to X, right? Um, those, those are corresponding angles. Um, which other angle would be equal to X in that case? Um, okay, um, well, I don't see any other, but let's, let's see what we need to prove. We can see whether we would need that, all right. Now they say to us, uh, prove giving reasons that OTBG is a cyclic quad, right? Now, please remember, when we prove a cyclic quad, there are three um, theorems that we can uh, use, right? First, we can either prove that the opposite angles are supplementary. So it means that if we've got opposite angles, they must add up to 180, right? Or we can prove that the exterior angle of a, a, a cyclic quad would be equal to uh, the opposite interior angle, right? Alternatively, what we can do is that we can use angles at same segment in this case, right? So let's see which of those we can use to try and prove um, whether uh, we have um, a, a cyclic quad. Right, so remember OTBG is this entire thing here. Okay, there it is. Okay, right, so that you can see it nicely. Right, so how do we prove that it's a cyclic quad? Um, I think, oh yeah, there, there it is. Look at this. We've already shown that this is 90 degrees, right? Okay, we use the 10 radius theorem. But we also shown that this one is also 90 degrees, right, in the at T. Um, and we said uh, the reason for that is that uh, line drawn from the center, right, uh, uh, bisects a chord. So in this case, we can therefore say that it is a cyclic quad because, look at this, the angles at same segment, right, are actually equal. Right, so I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to say, right, we've got, um, all right, we have not really named them very nicely. So we said GBO, yeah, let's call it GBO or OBG, whichever one. Okay, so uh, we're going to say OBG, right? So angle OBG is equal to 90 degrees, right? And why is that? We said this is the 10 radius theorem. So that's the 10 radius theorem, uh, 10 red, okay? And then we also had uh, angle OTG, right? Yeah, so OTG uh, would be equal to 90 degrees as well, right? And we said this is line drawn from the center, right? Um, so that's line drawn from center. Okay. Um, 
yeah so you can say that line drawn from the center and in this case uh, uh, okay we can say line drawn from the center uh, becomes a midpoint okay right okay so in this case what does that therefore mean it therefore means that OTBG would be a cyclic quad right so it's a cyclic quad uh, quad and the reason now uh, we can actually state the uh, reason <clears throat> right that the line that subtends in this case uh, it's subtended by that line there uh, which is GO right um, so um, we can say that a line that subtends uh, uh, is equal or we can say angle at same segment at same segment are equal okay right so we can say angle at same segment are equal all right um, so uh, in fact I forgot just to say therefore it means that OBG would be equal to OTG right and that's how we proved it right so uh, we've proven that it's a cyclic quad and note now that we've proven that it's a cyclic quad it means that we can use the properties of a cyclic quad uh, to try and prove something else as well right and so they say gob prove that um, gob is equal to angle s now i think uh, so gob all right is this angle over here right so now ladies and gents so gob we need to prove that this angle is equal to this angle over here right let me keep to the same color scheme so that uh, we would not we would avoid uh, avoid confusion right now what we've done is okay so we knew that uh, that's a, 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 a cyclic quad right we called this angle x here right and now we know that would be equal to x as well right but now note it means that this angle let's call it bt yeah btg right would be equal to x as well right you can either use vertically opposite angles or you can use corresponding angles with uh, angle s right right now in this case note because it is a cyclic quad it means that btg would be equal to bog which is this guy here or you can say gob which is also equal to x and there it is we've proven it right so uh, let's go to 9.2.2 okay um, for some odd reason i never like this color okay so uh, angle S is equal to um, angle, we said angle BTG, right? So angle S would be equal to angle BTG, right? And we said these are corresponding angles, corresponding angles. Remember, we've got those parallel lines there, right? And then we said now because angle BTG, um, uh, I mean BTOG, which is that cyclic quad, right? Because it is a cyclic quad, then it means BTG would be equal to um, uh, uh, GOB, right? Uh, but BTG is equal to GOB. And why is that? We said these are angle at same segment. Same segment. All right. We know that angle at same segment are equal. Therefore, it means that angle S would be equal to angle GOB. Okay. Right. And there it is. Uh, we have proven it in that case. Right. Uh, it really was an easy one. It, it really is just a question of just knowing your theorems and just applying them. Ladies and gents, I will be doing the last question, um, you know, on the next video. And I hope that you've been able to really follow and, you know, find these really helpful uh, in preparation for your exam. 
Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Shop.